Do you remember this, the DirectX 8 application manager and these two tabs in the gaming options thing? Well, yep, I actually found the components to program this and they were a bit closer to home than I realized. You see, instead of searching all the internet, if I'd have just gone into System32 down here and looked at, at AppMan, it's down there see we actually do have the application manager in the build so you don't ship it with your app like I said because that would just be stupid and I should have realized that but I didn't and we here we have the scripting interface to that and thankfully because it has a scripting interface the file has an embedded type library and in fact the embedded type library we can find out how to use it so if I make this bit bigger we can see that there's quite a lot of states for the installed files and you can see there's quite a lot, number of categories for the installed applications so it is, it's not just for games they actually had envisioned using this for stuff like scientific tools and web development and viruses and all that good stuff so if we go down here we can see that there's a big old there's the app manager this is the main interface to the to the um, application manager <laughs> and there's a big long massive interface here for the actual application entries now this is all well and good and it actually helps quite a lot having this here because then we know what to well we know how to call the functions it has what this doesn't tell you unfortunately is what order you need to call them in and quite how they interact with each other so I did a bit of trial and error and if I go back to I've, I've got it here I created a script file for it and I tried to figure out how exactly it works and how it well how basically to install something and get it to uninstall when you install something else that makes the total install size over what it should be you know what I mean this this here when it goes over the disk usage and then you have to uninstall right then so I look so I've tried to create that so if I run this script you can see the results there from the previous one and you can see it always errors out on this finalize install function and it gives you this error now normally if you get errors from long gone versions of Windows and stuff that's not even in the released SDKs they are pretty much short of luck but as we've already seen in the type library if we go up we get the error codes now the error code we're looking for is minus long number 330 so if you look at minus 330 it's appman e invalid execute command line now I've tried everything to try and get, see I've commented out all these other command lines that you have to provide, well you don't have to provide them I don't suppose, but I've commented out all those ones and just left the execute one in and no matter what I set that to I always get this error so I managed to futz around with the application manager and I spread a bit more information about that it's not gone in 2267, it's gone by the next build so it lasted just over a month rather than two so yeah it doesn't actually I can't get it to install anything properly. What it does do though when it, you run it is that it creates a key under this applications in the app manager and all this contains binary data that doesn't have any strings in it so it doesn't help me figure out what that is. So I delete that. It also creates entries in program files under this hidden appman nt folder. There's one for Appman 9x as well, so because DirectX 8 ran on Windows ME and presumably on Windows 98 as well. So, yeah, there's two folders in here system that's the one where it keeps all the metadata. These are all the failed tries I've attempted at this. I don't know how what these GUIDs represent, it's not the ones I set in the script file because that's always remained constant. So, oops, don't want to see that. So yeah, I don't know where that, these goods have come from. These folders are empty because obviously I didn't finish the install process. 
and under games this is where it presumably installs the metadata for your files or your files period or whatever I don't know because I haven't got anything to install so it puts it in a company name folder inside the game signature folder and then whatever goes in there is whatever goes in there I don't know because obviously I can't get things to go in there so yeah I tried everything I could I put the folder I thought maybe this I, I originally had it in C bits with everything else then I thought well maybe it needs to be in program files so I put it in program files and it hasn't saved, it hasn't caused anything to work. Likewise this command line, I originally had it as a VBS file and when that failed I tried it as an exe file and that's failed as well so yeah I'm no closer to figuring out how to get this working and I think I'm not going to spend much more time or any whatsoever on that. I'll put this script up somewhere else so if anybody else wants to have a go they can do. But yeah, unfortunately, again the feature, I'm, I've not been felled by the lack of components now, I've been felled by the lack of documentation, and that's a bit of a shame. Oh well.